you're going to want to watch this video. The best irons in the world. What's up guys, welcome back to the Golf Magic YouTube channel. Today I'm at Custom Golf Works in Woking with perhaps the most exciting array of equipment ever in Golf Magic history. Japanese forged golf equipment. We've heard it all before, but at my feet, in about six or seven suitcases, we've got some very rare, very expensive Japanese forged golf clubs. Makino, Itabori, they're all at my feet and much more. Today I'm going to look through all these suitcases, pick out what works for me, and take it to the course at Fox Hills and put it up to the test. Which suitcase do I go for first? Come with me. So Itabori has caught my eye pretty much straight away. They are really special in so many ways. I'm just gonna pick up this one here, which is a pitching wedge. The sole of the club has some extremely strange indentations. This is all hand done, not done by a machine. This is all hand done in the factory and they're all different from each other. They aren't the same. They all have completely different markings on them, which makes them essentially limited edition, right? The ones on the left here are catching my eye. They are blade-like and I just can't take my eyes off them. I'm gonna choose this one here first, Itabori. So they've got a little bit of forgiveness here, but it's also got that bobbly sole that I just have to try. There are so many other suitcases to choose from, but we're gonna get into the details of the tech behind them with Ash. Now, he is the expert here to tell me everything I need to know about what makes these so special. But let's get a shaft in this and hit it on the GC quad. Oh my God. It's 190 yards, seven I. <laughs> I mean, I've hit them well. I've hit them really well. It took me a while to warm up. That one's a little bit out of the toe. And I showed you before, this one has a little bit more forgiveness than actually what I'm used to with what I'm currently being fitted for. Last week I got fitted for some MB irons and it's not a bad thing, but now I'm getting warmed up. These are actually quite hot off the face once you hit them out the sweet spot. You can see here with a GC quad at Custom Golf Works that they were going nearly 195 yards, a little bit too far, but the spin rate is also really impressive, holding up at 7,000 RPMs. So with this case, I'm thinking, do I go with these? Luckily enough, I've got seven suitcases to choose from and Itabori is my personal favorite. There's plenty more to choose from from this brand. As you can see here, we've got wedges and more irons to choose from and I have got to try this bad boy here with the etchings on it too. A little bit more of a muscle back, a little bit more my street. I'm hitting it a little bit better today than I thought I would. Let's switch this into this one and see how it goes. Oh, I thinned it slightly. But the fact I've thinned it slightly, it's dead straight. And still 195. How is a muscle back forgiving? How is that forgiving? That's just, that's just absurd. That's genuinely absurd. <laughs> I don't, I don't, well, I don't understand. It's gone 210 yards. <laughs> this is this this is it for me, right? I've had many fittings in, in the last 12 months. I think I've ever had an iron that first of all looks like this, which you can see is a muscle back by design. Be so hot off the face and also be quite forgiving. Like you can see the etchings here, the way in which this is, it's designed kind of reminds me of Transformers and perhaps it's transformed me into a good golfer. Who knows? I think instead, the way in which this club is made is pretty special. And the price tag is also pretty eye-watering. There's many other brands to choose from though. And we're not just gonna focus on Itabori. We're gonna go talk to Ash right now to explain the entire Japanese forge range and what could work for you. And if this one could actually work for me.
Right, so Ash, we've got so many incredible Japanese forge clubs here. What makes them tick? What's so special about them? What's special about them is they're all individually made for the end customer. So you can bespoke your club to however you want it. Although Itabori are stunning in the way they look and everything, but they still can be bespoke to the nth degree. Lofts, lies, colors, finishes, stamping, engraving, whatever you want to do. So it's specifically for you. That piece of Japan is made for you. So every individual head is custom made from scratch once the order is placed. Okay, the other manufacturer to the highest degree is Orion. They're made in one part of Japan, then sent to a different part of Japan for the polishing. And, and this one is the most special one. That's a lot more traditional, as you said. Very, very traditional lines, right? lofts. And this is their piece of magic. Good heavens. <laughs> which has a, a, a very unique finish to yep. it, which has got a satin finish there and a high gloss finish at the base. In terms of forgiveness for these uh, wonderful uh, lines, what, what are we looking at here? Unless you're hitting them sort of sweet out the middle, they're not they're not too, nice, not too can... forgiving, but they are a joy to play with. Yes. Do you recommend me to hit these and have a, have a little look at them? Yes, the I, think, I think on, on the golf course, yeah. Yeah, uh, especially this one okay. and that one. And I would take this one, that seven iron is a strong right. seven iron. Big boy. Okay. Yeah, got a lot of meat behind sure. it, so it will launch the ball. And the beauty about Orion, they will engrave anything. Right. You don't have to have closer written there. Yeah, okay. You can have your own name. You can have really? golf magic written there. Well, we'll definitely take this to the course and see what it gets on and compare it to the Itabori. Yeah. That's a good idea? Yep, that's a good idea. Good stuff, let's do it. So, we are at Fox Hills, and I have got four heads to choose from that Ash has recommended me. 195 yards. In my hand is my favorite Itaburi, but Ash actually recommended me three Orion heads as well. Different cavity backs and different lofts. I don't know why, but I'm kind of feeling a hole in one. Actually, I do know why. These grips are absolutely spectacular. Skulls, tequila, and cacti. Yes, cacti. That's exactly what you need to make a hole in one 195 yards at Fox Hills. I've got quite a lot of balls though, so I should make it. Let's go. <laughs> it's so good, but it's such a bad shot. Okay, I mean, the thing is, they're quite responsive, but they go quite far as well. So nice. Oh no, I think I've lost a good, good golf ball. <laughs> no, I haven't. Okay. Did you hear how good that sound? Uh, it sounded really good. Right. Uh, I'm trying to hit a fade and I can't. It's there. I don't think the drone would have picked it up. It's like 30 yards left. I think I need a bit more forgiveness. So I'm actually going to switch to an Orion now after I've hit four shots. But this one definitely is my favorite. The only problem is, there's a secret that I haven't told you. Aww. All these clubs are very expensive. They're into the thousands, about 3,000 pounds and a lot higher. Are these worth it in today's age? 3,000 pounds, I will always say, no, it's not. But some of them look genuinely exceptional. If you do want to get customization, something that is completely tailored to you, the person watching this video, I don't think there is a better club, a nicer feeling club than some of these brands in this video. It's just, they're so expensive. And if you can't hit them very well, you can't have the nice ones. Well, that's not very true because this one here, the Orion, is now a cavity back. This is a lot stronger lofted than that one. I'm gonna go from exactly the same, but this is 195 yards with the seven iron. I'm only gonna to have to hit it about 70%. I haven't said that in a while. Will, Will, it's right in the flag. No, it's just right of it. Okay, that was a good shot. It's a bigger club, but it's not, it's not too big. It's kind of like P790s. <laughs> Such a nice shot. I know, but I thought I was in. <laughs> Am I supposed to play high handicap clubs? We'd say in this video, I like blades. Look like at this one's a bit chunky and I'm curing them. <laughs> so bad. It's just gone miles as well. It's in play. I'm going to be honest with you. Orion is taking it very close to Itabori so far. Itabori was nice for looks, for feel. Orion is. Ooh. 
You know what that means. <laughs> That's just so nice. <laughs> That's so nice. It's like, again, I think it's about 10 foot right. I want to hit another one with this, but we're now going to switch over to the Orions that are a little bit more suited towards my game. But genuinely, I don't think I've hit a nicer club in a long, long time than that. I want to hit more with it. No, we've got a video to do. We're now moving into another Orion that is, I will say, not as good looking as the Itaboris, but I now have very high expectations for this because of how the other Orion and closer, how that one felt. Mizuno Mura is always held as the highest in terms of feel for irons. I would tell anyone watching this video, try that Orion, because that felt mm, juicy. Fade, don't draw. Ah, rats. Okay, well, it's definitely less of a hollow body iron and that's what you're expecting. It's kind of gone from what I would say is the P790 in shape to now a P770. Oh, I've smashed it. They're all going left, Will. They're all going left. That looks good. Yeah, that's in the hole. That actually could be in the hole. <laughs> that was right, that was all over it. Last but not least, with Orion, we've got this muscle whack. Perhaps my favorite out of the Orion range. Does it match up with Itabori? Probably not, but from a purist point of view, also look how sharp that is. This is not for the faint hearted. Yes, it's got some weighting behind the ball to lower the CG, and the sole width isn't particularly that intimidating, but this is a small club, and a club that I'm looking at, and well, it could be the right one for me. Don't know if I made a hole in one in the last one. I'm gonna say no, I haven't, but we're gonna make it with this one. Instantly. I'm in the bunker, instant feedback. Oh, it was nice. It was nice, this is hard to hit. I mean, that one there, I'll show you guys, right out the middle. Please, is that too far right? No, I think it's landing a little bit short just because now we're getting to a point where the loft is just a little bit too weak for me to hit a seven iron, 195 yards. Tour average for a seven iron, nowhere near that. And this is most certainly a tall lofted club. So we're gonna have to give it some juice. And you know how I can get some juice? If you guys like and subscribe, because Golf Magic is nearing 20,000 followers. And once we get that, I will jump in the nearest water hazard. The Thames is quite close. Oh, God, when you hit these well. That's right at it again, it's a little bit left. All right, last one. We've hit some good ones. Let's make this one the best. And that's a lost ball. <laughs> but, I hit it good. <laughs> Those 16 shots I hit, for me, were the best that I've hit in a really long time. Oh, ooh. I mean, they're not all on the green. I think it's about 10 out of 16 that are close. But from a ball striking point of view, those were pretty much middle, middle the whole time. Now, is that the club's fault? I'm not quite sure. It could be down to me. But from a feel point of view, which is, I think is what we're focusing on with these Japanese forged irons, I don't really think I've had a set of shots where they've all felt very good. They're responsive. Yes, absolutely. I know when I'm hitting it out of the heel, out of the toe, low on the face. But when you hit it pretty much in that little two millimeter gap, we all call the sweet spot, well, I don't really think there's anything better. That leads me to ask the question again, are these incredible Japanese forged irons equipment worth it? In all honesty, for the everyday golfer, no. Not a lot of us can afford these types of clubs, but if you can, God, I'd love a pair. <laughs> this one here, the Orion is my favorite, not the distinct muscle back, just a little bit more forgiveness. I would have thought the Itabori, the start of this video, would have been mine. I was a bit skeptical about all of them, but this one, I'd love to have it in the bag. Let me know which is your favorite out of this video and go have a look at which is your favorite Japanese forged iron because there's some really special golf clubs out there. We focus on irons today, those drivers, three woods, wedges. Leave a like down below if you want me to do anything else because luckily enough, I can access these. Guys, thanks for watching today and thank you very much for Fox Hills, Dragon Golf and also Custom Golf Works for allowing me to use these wonderful clubs and film at Fox Hills itself. Until next time, I'll see you later. Well, green and red was pretty high there. I think you'll see me on uh, Live Golf next week.